Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, we are for more Final Fantasy VI. In the last episode, we rescued Shadow from the Cave in the Veiled after doing a little off-screen uh, grinding for Gower's Rages. And in this episode, not only are we going to get Shadow on our team, but we're also going to get Realm on our team. And if I may have a little bit of extra time, if not, I'll do it as a separate video. We're going to go see the rest of... We're going to see those other dreams that uh, Shadow has when you sleep in an inn. And of course, we'll be using the inn at... Um, I forget what this is. This is Famza, right? This has got to be Famza. No, is this Famza? I forget. Famza, yes, this is Famza. So, uh, because, you know, that's got the one gill in, so we might as well use it. But, in order to go where we need to go, what we want to do is face this corner of the map, the lower, the bottom right corner of the map, and just go straight. And here's the casino, or not the casino, the Colosseum already! And we want to go to the Colosseum because, well, if I can remember where it's located, I've gone past it like an idiot. It's right here. Because this is where Shadow's going to be. And you need the Striker from the Cave in the Veld. And we've also got to go back in there because I forgot something. It's actually kind of optional when it's a monster in a box. But I'm going to go deal with it right after we get Shadow. Because it's not going to take that long otherwise. The Colosseum. Like I said, this is the only time I'm going to be actually using the Colosseum for anything. So, I'm not going to be bothering with the Colosseum, like I said a few episodes back. I'm just going to be here to bet the Striker. Now, Shadow is actually kind of a pushover, which is kind of uh, saddening, and I do not mean to back up. Sorry about that, I was going to click, um, aut um, well, you know, uh, Automize or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, we need to give him the striker. We need to bet the striker, and Shadow should be. Yep, it's Shadow. I like how it actually says that the enemy's name is kind of question mark, but because he's a party member, his name actually appears. It's like his item, he's not really betting anything except for himself. So, we gotta choose someone who will beat him, and I feel like. Terror should recruit him. Because Terra doesn't get a lot of love. We haven't really seen us for the majority of the Let's Play, funnily enough. So, I think it'll be more fitting if she did it. So, putting the controller down. You just heard me. Because we just got to watch the fight. Wait, what? Um... Is this a glitch? Why is he an imp? Why is he an imp? I am really confused. Is this a glitch? Oh, is it because he got imp status before we talked to Kafka and he still has the status problem now? That can't be it. It's not like he can do anything special anyway. I mean, I, know, I, do, I don't think I taught him any skills and... Why did Terra go in a morph? Oh, I shouldn't have dozed in Terra. This fight is just really confusing me right now. Why is Shadow an imp? I, I can't, I don't understand this. And Terra, you're not doing anything. Terra, you're not doing anything. Thank you. I am really confused about this right now. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm sure that Shadow is not supposed to be a flaming imp in this battle. So, I don't understand why he is. I'm pretty sure that Terra didn't use an imp skill because the battle started with him as an imp. So the only explanation I can give is that he was already an imp status before we lost him on the floating continent. You know, before the cutscene with Kafka took place. Or the battle with Ultimate Weapon. So I have no clue on why this is happening. Finally Terra's going for some magic. Finish this off please. Why fire one? Ugh, the computer is so stupid sometimes. Anyway, there we go. We won the battle, which is what we need to do. We got the striker back. Because... That's his best equipment, but I'm still confused on why he's an imp. I swear that's a glitch. Oh well, it didn't affect the cutscene at least, thank god. What are you doing here? The only thing I know how to do is fight. Why not come with us? Well... First I need to see how far I can get here. And, well, he joins the team. Does he replace anybody? I'm not too sure if he does. Nope, he goes to the ship. So, he joined, but I'm still confused on why he's supposed to, he's an imp stats. I did not... Uh, he's not supposed to be an imp stats for that battle. That's completely thrown everything out of my window, what I was going to say. 
I'm gonna have to go check up on this. I'm really confused. Unless he's automatically healed now, but you'd think that would have happened after the end of the world. Like a little subroutine says, healing all characters, then remove them all from your available roster. I don't know. I am really, really confused right now. <laughs> Oh, this is so awkward. I don't know what to say. Let's go see. Let's go check on this. You know what? Terra does not need to be in the team anymore. Let's remove the Esper that she has right now and change her out for somebody because she's just. Just can't teach her anything anymore. I mean, she's done with Carbuncle. I mean, goddamn. We can't really teach her anything else up to this point. Might as well check everyone else as well just in case he hasn't learned W Win yet or Tornado. As it's called in later games. You've learnt Shrafim, so I can de-equip you on that for now. I'll probably equip them with other stuff later. I might want to switch them out, so... Okay, there we go. So now let's go get Shadow on the team. All of my plans have just gone out of the window because of this, and he's in the corner here. Change fight members? Please. I really want to see why he has imp stats. Does he still... No, he's been healed after the battle. What the hell? I'm really confused. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen that ever happen. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, everyone's pretty much the exact same level at the moment. I have been doing fights, so I must not have been getting any experience. Keep Mog in for now. Keep Sign in for now, because... Uh, well, actually, I don't really need Gal at the moment. I'll have Setsa back, because he's got Treyarch. Mog, just in case if I get sick and tired of the random encounters. Um, do I want Sign or so I have somebody else right now? I mean, Stray's not that big of a hassle. Shoot, I don't plan on teaching anybody else it at the moment. And two other people have, um, whatever. Yamario we could have just to equip him with the Rage Ring and see what else he does. But I want to have at least Shadow in my team for a little bit. Just for the purpose of this episode as well as sleeping at the inns. Then I may switch him out for Yamaru later. So that's the plan. <sighs> so, without any more derpiness and... If that was a glitch, then I guess it was a glitch. Let's get on with everything. So let's go check out on what he has. He's been averaged out on level once again. Um, I don't think he was in the process of learning anything. It looks like he was in the process of learning Shout, actually. Because that would make sense. But I am going to teach him Shrafim just to finish that off. Oh, wait. He's already got Cure 2. Maybe I don't need to do that. Well, you know what? He can have it just to finish it off, I guess. So that's fine. Uh, Trichoch, I know you haven't finished it with it yet, and Mogok will give you something new. So I guess I'll give you Maddalindalindalin. And, um, yeah, I think that'll be it. So let's go equip Shadow, because f that's the wrong thing. Because, weirdly enough, he entered the Colosseum with nothing on him. Look at the power boost Striker gives him. It, even though it can dispatch enemies, which is a little bit of an annoyance, you may want to have another one of his weapons it, as a up I guess in, ca in case if he can't dispatch an enemy but at the same time it's his best weapon so I guess what I'll do I'm actually out of shields are you serious well if that's the only thing I have available I'm gonna have to give him the buckler that's really bad I like I said I will be doing my shopping in this episode so um, yeah I really need some equipment now I'm starting to run low on good equipment that's for Gao as well by the way so relic now, remember that the um, safety ring is actually Realm's equipment? Well, obviously we already know that the safety ring can be equipped to Shadow as well. And there must be some connection with Realm or something. I mean, Interceptor goes to Realm, so maybe we'll find out later, or I'll just explain it at the end of the video. If... If the game permits, I guess. Because I don't want to give unintentional spoilers, so... Let's, uh, let's equip him with the... Sorry, we're back in the menu again. Uh, I think I'll give him the amulet, and I'll also give him the... The beads. There we go, sword. Because he's a ninja, he should be able to avoid attacks. So now that we are done in the menus and that derpy imp battle with Shadow, I'm going to go back into the Cave of the Veiled, and I'll meet you back where I missed the item, because I completely forgot it was there, and hopefully I don't run into Doomgaze while doing this. I should have just cut through the side of the map but whatever so I'm gonna cut and I'll meet you back in the correct area in the in the uh, cave of the veiled I'm not gonna I'm gonna cut I'm gonna do all battles I bump into off screen just for the experience and magic points and if anything noteworthy happens I'll let you know
So, I'll see you guys in just a second. And I'm back. Sign and Setsa gained a level, and Shadow learnt Remedy and Life. Now, this is what I missed. Instead of going all the way left and then down to go through this cave, just keep going left, and you'll go to this chest that I completely forgot. Uh, go back a little. There we go. And this is going to be a monster in the box. So, who's the enemy? It better not be pugs. Alover. Alover? Oh, bloody hell. I'm guessing you're dead, so if I just use life, you're done. Or cure. But you know what? I'm going to beat you legit, so let's just jump. If you give me too much trouble, I'll just do a remedy on you, and that should kill you instantly. Uh, so, I'm guessing you're weak to fire, because that would make sense, as you're a dead enemy. Seven flush, that would do. And dispatch, why not? That would do. Everything will do. Sorry I sound a bit of a bland, but that... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Bloody toe cutters, I had to beat like seven of them just to get through one cave and... Oh dear! Oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> if you can do that, then I might consider using life on him. The ass. Okay, so now we know what he can do. <laughs> um, I don't think I've actually ever fought this thing before, now I come to think of it. I think I've always missed this. It's not its not a cave that I normally come back to, and it's something I don't normally remember, but I do remember seeing the chest on the side, but I guess I was too focused on getting Shadow, because that was the main focus. And condemned? Oh, okay, so you're going to give him a time limit. How biased are you? Oh, bugger, that fully healed him, didn't it? Okay, this is not good. I think I'm going to have to use cure spells on him when I'm playing as uh, Shadow. Because otherwise his weapon might do that. You know what, funnily enough, on all of the toe cutters so far, Dispatch on Shadow Striker did not go off even once. And yet, of course, it does it on a dead enemy. It's just typical, to be perfectly honest. So, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, I've got so much stuff to throw. Wow, look how many water edges I've got. You know what, let's use a water edge. Oh, do I have a fire skein? I have a fire skein, let's use that. Should make like a, tr a try and go, there we go. Dude, the damage. Oh god, who are you killing? Pfft, it missed Shadow. I guess the Reaper does follow him all the time. Lol, 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 what a gay face. Wow, massive damage on Shadow and everybody else, but it completely missed it. Whoa, he's doing it twice? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Lord, it missed Setsa twice. He's doing it again! What's he doing? He's doing it a fourth time. You can't hit me. A fifth time. What's going on? A sixth time. A sixth... Okay, what is going on here? The game is just bugging out on me today. So, uh, that's the eighth time. Dude, it's not working. It's not... What is going on here? He used that... He used Atomic Ray nine times. Non-stop. He would have easily killed me. He would have... Okay, okay. This is bad. This is... Okay, now you're going to kill Setsa with Doom. Now you've just killed Setsa with Doom. I have... Oh, Lord. I can't target the enemy with Remedy. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this, because he just used Atomic Ray nine times. You saw that. Nine times in a row. The first one wiped off my entire team, except for Mog that was in the air, and sets up because somehow he resists it. I can't remember what Atomic Ray's element is, but apparently Setsa dodged it all nine times. Zero damage. And he just kept on spamming it. So there's obviously something wrong here. And he just did Doom on Setsa, who could easily dodge it all. So, because I don't have life, and I'm running, and I still need to go shopping, I'm going to kill this thing, because if he does that one last time, he's going to kill me. I am in a tight position right now, and I did not expect that to actually happen. I don't know if that's a bug, that he did it nine times in a bloody row. That didn't even work! No! Miss! 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 Oh, oh no! You bitch! Well, I got screwed by glitches. I guess I'll leave this one in. I'm not too pissed off on this game over, but... Even though it does mean I once again have to do the whole entire episode again, which means getting Shadow, but... 
Okay, let, so let's get a lowdown. First, Shadow appears in his sequenced battle as an imp. And yet when we check his stats afterwards, he's not got imp status. Second, that boss did Atomic Ray nine times and he death counters with death or doom. And he did that on my last surviving character that dodged all nine Atomic Rays. But also didn't survive the Doom counter-attack after that. What is going on today? Alright, I'm going to meet you back there. That's a legitimate game over. I'm not annoyed by this one particular game over because I'm just, my mind's just been blown by all these glitches today. So, I'll meet you back there. This time it won't take 10 minutes. See you guys in just a second. And I am back. The only problem is this time Shadow does not have Remedy, but that's not big of an issue. He starts with Doom again already, you serious? Ha! Blocked! Take that, sucker. Okay, let's just hope he doesn't counter with Doom across the board. I'm not even messing about with this dude. I'm not dealing with nine atomic rays again. So let's just kill him. I've already got a game over. He didn't even counter that time, what? So he just chooses if he wants to counter or not? So I got the bullshit result. Okay, now I'm pissed off with the <laughs> with the game over. Uh, why does this game do this to me sometimes? I mean, it hasn't done it for quite a while, but it's back to its usual bullshit. Ah, well, Tiger Fangs. They're, a, they're an equipable item for, sa for uh, Sabin, so that's what I wasted another 10 minutes doing. Uh, these weapons better be good. Because now I'm a little bit peeved off because it didn't counter with Doom that time. Maybe it's if it's at a certain health, but whatever. Where are you, Tiger Fangs? Here that you are. No special um, description. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. I'm not pissed off with the game over anymore. I'm just keep changing my preference on that game over. Look at that battle power, yo. That battle power. Just put that. Uh, just that alone is just power. You do not need to put another weapon with that. Just wow. Gives you a stat boost and pretty much everything else as well. Oh lord. Okay, I'm happy again. I'm happy again. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy. I'm peeved. I'm happy. I'm peeved. I'm happy. Oh lord. Um. Yeah. So does anyone have warp to get out of here? Actually, you know what? I'll just walk out here normally, just so that. Shadow has his remedy, so everything's back to normal pretty much. It's not like anybody died in that battle anyway, or even took a hit damage. So, I'm gonna meet you back outside of here, and I'm gonna go all the way to. I think it's called Miranda. It's the place with the auction house. So, if you know what that town is, Jidor, that's the name. I'll meet you at Jidor. Once Shadow finished with. Um, once, fin once Shadow was finished with. Uh, Shrafim, I gave him um, Bismarck, I think it is, that gives him Fire, Ice and Bolt at a rate of 20, just to get that done quicker. So what we want to do is go all the way to Jidor. I know I said I'll meet you there, but I thought I would just explain what I gave him quickly, just so if he learns it, you get confused. Because pretty much what we're going to do in this episode now is just do shopping and probably end it, because I had to do an extra 10 minutes just to get this far. So it's going to be a short episode, but... It's not my fault. Apparently this game is starting to glitch up on me for some reason. I mean, it's not major, but it is annoying. And for a second now, I couldn't see Shadow. He kind of blends with the ground. But yeah, Jidor. I'm going to have to also buy some stuff because, like I keep saying, we really need to do some shopping. So, Crystal Helm would be nice. Dark Hood. Yeah, it's not that big of an issue, and that's more cheaper, so I will get that definitely for Shadow at least. I love, love the tune here now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I will get that for Shadow as well. And even though it kind of seems a bit biased, I'm not going to get anything else because I'm once again running low on money. Even though I have like half, maybe a full wallet, because you can carry up to 999999 gil, I think. Um, I'm a little bit stingy because I need to go buy stuff for everybody. So lately, I've been seeing a lot of carrier pigeons flying towards Miranda. Who could be sending all the letters? So if you haven't found a sign yet, that could be a clue if you for finding him. This is Jidor, the westernmost town on the world map. The world's so different now. Pfft. Yep, it's still in its same location, so there's no problems there. I really need items, which is kind of 
awkward considering that I've been saying it so long and yet we're only just stocking up now, so... Yeah, this is what the rest of this episode's going to be entailing. Sorry! I want, I definitely want a few more of these. Give me... Oh hell, just give me seven. I really need more tents here, so I would rather get six. Really running low on money again now. Uh, this is a problem. I will get six of these, just in case if I run into a little bit of a trouble. I don't think I need tinctures or potions in it at the moment, because they're for like small healing now, because other stuff like ethers, which in later versions is called high ethers, it's weird. It's weird. Tinctures are potions, and potions are high potions, it's weird. But yeah, got all that stuff. I'll equip Shadow with them in a second. We do. Our next um, area that we got to go to is actually in that building, Owser's house. But we'll deal with that in the next episode, like I already said. So, you got any new relics in here? That would be nice. Because I'm starting to run low on good relics. Any new ones? No, just the same crap. Guard ring. Cast safe. I will get that. Now I'm really low on money. Oh lord. I think I might sell some of. Um. Shadow's old weapons, because I don't think I'll be throwing them anytime soon. Because I like to throw items that I actually have multiples of, and not just the one. Kind of contradicts what I was saying at the very beginning of this LP, really. I'm saving them for so when Shadow can throw them, but I never do. I don't know. I might keep them. Ooh, I can't even buy that, but that is really good. Sniper is for lock, but we don't have him on our team yet. The Partisan, or the Man Eater is pretty good, but at the same time, it's a little bit meh. Crystal. You know what? Let's sell some of these. Sell... Well, the Thief Knife is actually pretty good, so I will sell the Hardened, because I'm never going to use that. Are you kidding me? That was only worth one gill. I sold that for no reason. Shit. Not happy with that. I will sell... Oh, no. I'm looking at the... Ba I was looking at the Battle Power, I think. So I think I might have been alright. Yeah, sell it. Sell one of them. Guardian, randomly evades an enemy's attack. Nah, it's not worth keeping. Do do. Do 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 do. The Miffle Blade's not worth keeping. Regal Cutlass, not worth keeping. Flame Saber's good. It's fire damage. Um, Miffle Pike's not worth keeping. Trident. Oh, well, the Katetsu's definitely not worth keeping. Forged is definitely not keeping. That can't randomly cast Wind Slash, which is actually pretty good. Gives it a bit of variety. So, um. I didn't equip Saber with the Tiger Claws, but then again, he's not part of my team, so I don't know. I really need some more shields, because. Oh, I do have more shields! I have like three diamond shields! Why can't I equip. Ugh, I guess. Say. Yeah, Shadow can't equip them. I'm seeming to get everybody who sounds like has an S at the beginning of their name, or sounds like it's an S at the beginning of their name. I'm always confused with them with Saban. Saban's so awesome, that's why. Okay, so I will definitely get rid of the iron armor, because that's crap. So I'm building up my money here. Kung Fu suit I'll get rid of, because that defense is weak as hell. Saria ground, that's actually pretty good. Ninja gear, mm, I don't know about that. But the Mithril mail, actually. Silk robe. Cotton robe. Get rid of the cotton robe. Get rid of the silk robe. Get Finally getting rid of some stuff. So, Power Sash is actually pretty good right now, so... Resembles a tabby cat. <laughs> uh, well, that's special, so I'm not going to get rid of that, so... And the rest are just relics that I'm not going to get rid of anytime soon. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I didn't mean to go out of the menu there, so... Whatever. Um, just deciding. The Partisan or the Crystal? Pass under the crystal, pass under the crystal. I think I'll get the crystal because more people get because um Mog's got a good enough weapon as it is. Along with um Edgar having the man eater for diversity, I guess. So I guess I'll get the crystal, because that's more worth it. Look at that battle power. Yeah, definitely more worth it. Okay, I'm out of money again. <laughs> oh my god, every time I go shopping, I'm literally just skint. That is a problem. But when I do my massive level grind, I'll have enough money to actually properly deck out my characters. Because equipment's not that important at the moment, but every little bit helps. So let me go equip um, Shadow right now. This is mostly menus and mostly glitches today. So now I've ranged all that, so it's all sorted. Replace your Mithril Helm with a Dark Hood. It's a definite boost. Massive boosts! So I'm really happy about that. I don't think anyone else needs anything else. 
Yep, I think we're good. And, um... I think we're just about done. So... Um, in the next episode, guys, we may check out the auction house to see what's new, and if not, then we will get on with the other quest to save Realm that I was going to do in this episode, but of course, glitches got in the way, as well as a game over. Which I'm not entirely annoyed about, it just happened, because it decided to use Atomic Ray nine times in a row, and then cast Doom as a death counter, which, this second round, it didn't happen. But yeah, in the next episode, guys, we'll just try and get the realm without any more problems. Bloody hell, this was a glitchy episode. One of many, one of few that I've actually had. But yeah, see you guys next time. Hopefully, no more glitches.